Hi guys! In this video, we're going to be unboxing the Pretty as a Peacock kit from uh, Softlex Company. It's not a monthly subscription, but a kit that they put together every month. You can choose to buy it or not, but it's very reasonably priced and you get almost everything you need to make several like necklaces or bracelets or earrings. So I love it. I get it every month. So I wanted to wait to unbox it until I was able to film it for you guys. Once I we open up and see what's inside, then I will kind of take a little pause only you won't notice i will take a little pause to kind of think of what what i want to create and i will come back and create something with you guys on camera okay so if you want to see what's in this cute adorable package keep watching all right so let's unbox this or open it, <laughs> it comes in they all come in this adorable little packaging and it it does come with this you know, um, it comes with this little sheet that comes exactly like this. It comes with this little sheet that tells you what's in the kit. You get a coupon to for your next purchase, and uh, you know this card talking about their kit. They have a monthly design challenge, so you could participate and possibly get next month's kit for free. So they have a group, a VIB group. So uh, if you want to join that group, I will post it in the comments down below. Anyway, let's get to unboxing this or opening this up. And let's see what's in here. I love their kits, like I mentioned earlier. They have really, I don't know, they have just a really nice way of putting um, everything together, like coordinating everything which I really enjoy and all right so here we go this I love the teals and I was really looking forward to this kit this one has got the pretty as a peacock design elements from Jesse James beads which they collaborate every month so Jesse James beads provides a cute little bead mix for them and so that's I'll open up that in a bit and then we've got let's see we've got some findings so i've got you know the kit comes with these little i'm thinking they're two by two crimp tube yep these are two by two crimp tubes and ster sterling silver and then we've got silver plated earring ear wires i'm sorry so a, a silver plated lobster clasp 12 millimeter and the Tierra Cast Silver Temple Clasp, which is this one right here, I'm assuming. It comes with this little, okay, so this is more like a toggle clasp, but it's a temple clasp. It's this one right here. So, and then like I said, you've got your ear wires, which is nice if you wanna create earrings. And then, there is these beads. Ooh, these are pretty. These are the Czech glass turquoise twists. So really pretty little be, uh, turquoise beads. And then we've got these bugle beads in teal. So these are Czech glass blue and brown faceted pairs. And They've got this beautiful teal. Um, what is it called? What's the name of the wire? Uh, it's a dark blue lapis, uh, 0 .09, 0 0.019 medium beading wire. So, got the little, and this one is you get 10 feet of the beading wire. And last but not least, we have these cute matte teardrops, teal, turquoise matte teardrops. So that's the last one. And I really wanna see what's in the little design elements. Pretty as a peacock mix. Let's see what's in here. Mm. 
really, really pretty. I'm already seeing these tubes that I like. All right. So, got these beautiful be uh, pearl beads here. And some square ones as well. Oh, they almost look like, uh, yeah, they're faceted rectangle square beads. <laughs> And then these cute, look at those, aren't those cute? These adorable little tassels in the teal. And then these beautiful silver beads. Some more of these little saucer beads. What they look like to, to me, these, they look like flying saucers. <laughs> and then these really cute a B rondelles. It well, I don't, yeah, it has. They has a little bit, but they're you know they're more like what's it called? Like mirrored almost. Really pretty rondelles. These cute little little beads here. Little teal mini mini faceted rondelles, and then some bead bead caps. And these are so pretty, these square beads. They're faceted too. They are so pretty. Very, very pretty. And then you've got these teardrops. I always love these ones. But they are uh, drilled straight through. And look at these, they almost look like they're, I don't know, they've got like that, cat eye finish to them. Yeah, it's got like a cat eye finish. Depends on the light is. And these, oh my goodness, these are so pretty. Wow, these are gorgeous. These tubes, pot, you know, like clay tubes. I was gonna say pottery. <laughs> these clay tubes are absolutely just so pretty. I love a more of a boho look, so that is really, really pretty. These gorgeous AB uh, coins, glass coins, these are stunning. Wow, I love Jesse James bead mixes. Look at this one, look at these rondelles. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh, did you guys count how many times I said pretty? So pretty. <laughs> All right, so this is in the bead kit. So this is in this month's Pretty as a Peacock kit. Yeah, we got two of these drops, which I love. They give you tons of, give you plenty of um, beads to make, like I said, several pieces. So I'm going to take a little pause and think about what I want to make to show that we can make here together on camera, and I will be right back. Okay, so after kind of looking at all the beads, I decided on a pair of earrings and this is what I came up with. I absolutely love this. It's got a little bit of sparkle, it's elegant or casual, um, and it drapes just so nicely as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this, this earring. So basically what we're gonna need is the rondelle that comes in the mini, um, the bead kit and then the drop as well one of the ear wire two by two crimps and one of these uh, bead stop or bead holders these are super super cool to hold up your beads on one side until you're able to you know finish it off and some of the soft flex uh, beading wire this one is the medium and and it's the 0 0.019 inches so and then also 12 no i'm sorry 14 of the bugle beads and for tools you'll need a pair of cutters your your flush cutters you'll need the a pair of just uh the flat nose flat nose pliers and 
the magical crimp tool from Beadalon. I love this for when I need to make just little bead accents. It turns the crimps into just little little accent beads. So I love that. But they can own this crimper can only be used with the two by two beads from the Softlex. They I don't know what it is. I've tried using it on other companies' beads and I mean other companies crimps and they do not work so you would have to if you're going to use this tool you would have to get the crimp the the crimp tubes from softlax all right so to do this we're going to need um, eight inches of the softlax this color is dark blue lapis so i'm going to cut eight inches of this wire and i have my little measuring tape. I really love these little things. You can hold that and that right there. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the bead stopper foil thingy my jig <laughs> on here. And then I'll just put on my bugle beads. All right, so now that we have our 14 bugle bees, let me see, just make sure. We got our, our 14 bugle beads on here, and we're just going to kind of fold this to make that loop, just like this. And I'm going to take this bead stop, bead stopper off. And just kind of leave one side longer than the other. And then you can take your rondelle, this sparkly rondelle here, and put this on so you have it like that. And then we will take a crimp tube and thread that on through both. Of the wire like so so now that that is on so what we're gonna do oops I think I need this this side to be a little bit shorter not too much so we can handle it so we're able to not so it won't slip out either but we're gonna take the long piece this side and put it through the crimp tube as well it holds up to three, three of the wires, and um, you know, as far as thickness thickness goes, you can fit up to three of these wires through there. And as you can see, it's coming out down here, like so. And just going to kind of make sure I have this little loop here. I want to make sure I have the same loop so that they don't, so one isn't longer than the other. So you always want to make sure you've got these, your loops even. So it looks like I need to get it, make it a little bit smaller. Mm. Yep, that seems about right. I'm going to grab my magical crimp pliers. Just go in there, then you make sure that it's centered. See how it's got that little, little round like divot in there? Gotta make sure the crimp tube is right in the middle. It lays on there. Let me show you do. I go just like that. Oops, let me make sure it's showing. There you go. So once it's lying on there, I make sure that it's really well centered. You squeeze and you get like a little normally it comes like like a little ravioli with the four corner squeeze but that's fine we're going to put it on its side and squeeze again see how it's still it still came out round rounded so then we just go around and around to make that to make that shape 
All right. So, just want to make sure I got it nice and rounded. There we go. So, as you can see, I've got the little bead and it's nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. So, now we have this long piece sticking out. And I'll cut this in a little bit, but you're going to take your drop and thread this on, oops, like a so. See, and that will end up in the center. So then you take your other crimp tube, thread that one on at the bottom of your drop. And again, want to make sure that it's nice and centered and then squeeze and then you'll see the little like ravioli shape going on and right now it's really loose because there's only one cable one wire going through it but you'll still tighten up nicely Oops. and once it's sideways and you squeeze again and squeeze and just kind of go all around again make sure that you have that nice shape and see it won't your bead won't come out so it's it's on there nice and tight now that you've crimped it completely you've got your little bead so now I can go ahead and cut this off like so and then I can cut this off here that and then we'll take our ear wire and kind of gently twist it towards you to kind of open up the ear wire put that one through bring it back to it's nice and snug and you have your earring so that is using the magical crimp, crimping pliers. I have a beautiful pair of sparkly earrings. Well, let me know what you guys think. Did you like this style of earring or not? Do you use soft flex wire, beading wire a lot or haven't used it before? Have you used the magical crimping pliers? I love these things. Um, yeah, put that down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so I get you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I, as I have plenty more unboxings coming up, so you don't want to miss any of them. They're fun. I, I have a lot of beautiful beads coming up. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.